The Capitol now in the aftermath of the worst mass killing in Ottawa's history. Police are trying to determine why it happened, the motive, the sequence of events. Six people killed late Wednesday night, five members of the same family, including four young children, as well as a family friend living in the home at the time. Police say the weapon used something similar to a hunting knife. The lone survivor, the family's father, who is recovering in hospital. A local community setting up a vigil to honor and remember those who died. Yeah, it's heartbreaking as a mother for me to see four young children's like, souls taken away. It's just so sad. Well, that vigil was held at a park not far from where the family lived. Police say the Wick Remising family were newcomers to Canada. They had come here recently from Sri Lanka. A neighbor who knows the family also saying the father was attacked as he was getting home from his evening job as a cleaner. And the father was the one who ran out of the house screaming, asking neighbors to call 911. Let's go to the scene. CTV's Katie Griffin, our eyes and ears, she's standing by near the vigil right now. Katie, bring us up to speed with the latest. Well, as you mentioned, just horrific details that are continuing to come out about what happened just a few nights ago. Uh, we're learning now from police sources telling CTV News that they're trying to figure out if one or more uh, weapons were used used in this and that the primary weapon used uh, resembled a hunting knife. So just absolutely horrific details. And it comes um, as people are really, really wanting answers as to why this could have happened. What would have what would have caused this to happen? And more people are coming here throughout the day. This memorial continues to grow. I was just speaking uh, to one woman who is actually um, a dispatcher herself. So she knows colleagues that were on the other line of those on the other end of those 911 calls know some of the first responders who had to rush into that scene when those frantic 911 calls were coming and she says as a parent this really hits differently too she has a young child as well around the age the same age of the youngest victim just a couple of months old a newborn baby it's just so incredibly tragic we're going to show katie the uh, suspect in this case who was arrested and has now been charged with six counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted murder a 19-year-old Fabrio D'Souza, a student from Sri Lanka as well, went to, at one point, Algonquin College there in Ottawa, where you are, and uh, was, in fact, uh, staying at the house at the time as well. What more do we know on that front? Yeah, that's really all we know at this point. Um, police saying that they are kind of now understanding more about the dynamics, about what went on, but are going to have to dig deeper as part of this investigation into that relationship between uh, this student who was in Canada studying at Algonquin College, at least as of last year, um, and this family and the victims. Um, and we don't know if uh, he knew, the suspect knew um, the victims prior to coming here, if there was a family connection or if it it was just someone who uh, was staying in the home while they were studying. So certainly still a lot of questions um, about this suspect. CTV's Katie Griffin there in Ottawa in the uh, suburb of Barhaven where this happened on Wednesday night. Thank you, Katie.